The Nelson Chamisalet Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has petitioned the High Court to oppose police attempts to obstruct the gathering intended to kick off the party's election campaign on August 23 amid accusations that the law enforcement body is taking a side in the race. Due to a lack of an access road and restrooms, police denied to allow CCC to hold the rally in Bindura, National Land West, today. Bindura Magistrate Maria Msika scheduled the case for hearing on July 11, days after the date suggested by CCC, after receiving a request from the opposition party to have the police judgment reversed. CCC recently requested permission from the High Court to lift the restriction in an urgent motion. The CCC listed Msika and the official in charge of the Bindura district as respondents in the application submitted through attorney Jeremiah Ben. A portion of the application states, it is now determined that an urgent appeal filed pursuant to Section 11 of the Preservation of Peace and Order Act Chapter 1123 shall not be subject to regulation under Order 22 Rule 10 of the Magistrate Court Rules of 2019. First respondent is now instructed to decide the appeal made by the petitioners in case number BNPCA 13023 as soon as possible, but no later than 11 a.m. on July 9, 2023. The applicants are Samuel Gondong. Agreement Kagura, Susan Moaya, and CCC, who are the conveners of CCC. The matter will be heard by the High Court today at 8 a.m. Yesterday, Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyothi, a spokesman for the police, justified the decision to not let the CCC gather. Nyothi claims that CCC had originally planned to host the rally at Chipet Stadium but changed the location when it became clear that the structure was undergoing renovations. Nyati claimed that CCC participants offered their own residences as substitute locations. The stands are in a private space, he explained, and before the demonstration is approved. Other beneficiaries must be consulted. The two stands in the Brookdale area, which are around 3,800 and 3,900 square meters each, cannot accommodate many people and lack access roads and restrooms because the regions are still under development. The planned location didn't have the required amenities, according to Bindura Police on Friday. The letter in response to CCC's notification states that the venue is located on an undeveloped plot of ground that is overgrown and lacks access to roads, water, and sewer utilities. Both the participant's security and the propagation of any communicable disease are put at high danger by it. The police and other emergency services might have trouble getting to the location in the case of any public disorder. A CCC gathering was prohibited by police on Wednesday in Keredzi, Masvingo, and tear gas canisters were used to scatter attendees. For allegedly disobeying the rally ban, the police reportedly detained eight CCC members. Police officials in Zoka allegedly told Chumisa that his time was up and they halted him in the middle of an address. Another CCC constituency campaign launch that was set for Mazo was also halted by police, who claimed the location had already been reserved. The open space had already been reserved, according to Mazo District Officer overseeing Juan Masamba. According to the CCC spokesperson, Fedzei Mayer, Chumisa and his party members would continue with their election campaigns despite the state-sponsored setbacks. Mayer stated that Chumisa has moved forward with his presidential visit of the Masvingo province and it will expand to all provinces in Zimbabwe. Although ZNUPF seizes state institutions to forbid our gatherings, we are winning hearts and minds, the speaker said. We are invincible. We are creating a Zimbabwe where everyone can live. There are 11 people running for president, including Chumisa. According to Mayer, ZNUPF can never prevail in a free and fair election. ZNUPF can never win a free and fair election. So they're turning to rally bans and misusing the police force to try and suppress our campaign activity, she claimed. This clearly violates the requirements of the constitution and the standards for free and fair elections set forth by the Southern African Development Community. They are worse than Robert Mugabe because they are frightened and unelectable. Yesterday, it was unable to reach ZNUPF Komasa Mike Bama, Director of Information to Feds Wamagwari. Or spokesperson Christopher Matsvengwa for comment.